Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a large uterine polyp in a patient aged about 37 years, having four children, and she is experiencing irregular and heavy bleeding, uterine bleeding. Overgrowth of cells in the lining of the uterus, that is endometrium, leads to the formation of uterine polyps, also known as endometrial polyps. Uterine polyps are more likely to develop in women who are between 40 and 50 years old than in younger women. Uterine polyps can occur after menopause, but rarely occur in women under 20 years old. Now you can see a large uterine polyp in the almost whole length of the uterine cavity, quite a large polyp. This is uterus. Around 5% of uterine polyps are cancerous or precancerous. Uterine polyp range in size from a few millimeter, no longer than a CCM seed, to several centimeters golf ball size or larger. This is quite a large polyp. They attach to the uterine wall by a large base or a thin stalk. You can have one or more than one uterine polyps. Now this you can see is significant blood flow is also seen in this polyp. Now the signs and symptoms of the uterine polyps include irregular menstrual bleeding, for example having frequent unpredictable periods of variable lengths and heaviness. Then there is bleeding between menstrual periods. Then excessive heavy menstrual periods and vaginal bleeding after menopause. Infertility may also result. You can see the polyp measures about 6.3 cm into 3.3 cm into 3.2 cm. Now the causes of uterine polyps, each month estrogen levels in the woman rise and fall, causing the lining of the uterus to thicken and then shed during the periods, polyps form when too much of that lining growths. Growth that may be due to change in the estrogen level that happen just before and during menopause. Treatment may not be necessary if the polyps do not cause any symptoms. However, polyps should be treated if they cause heavy bleeding during menstrual periods or if they are suspected to be precancerous or cancerous. If a polyp is developed after menopause, it should be removed. It is rare for the uterine polyps to be cancerous if they are not causing any problems. Monitoring the polyps over time is a reasonable approach. If you develop symptoms such as abnormal bleeding, however, then the polyps should be removed and evaluated to confirm that there is no evidence of malignancy. So after removal of the polyps, the, the patient can return to work in a few days she may notice a little spotting after a few days, 
only a small percentage of women's uh, polyps seems to come back but it is possible that months or years after the treatment polyps might reoccur now you can see a significant blood flow is seen in the polyp overgrowth of cells in the lining of the uterus that is endometrium leads to the formation of uterine polyps these polyps are usually non cancerous that is benign although some can be cancerous or even eventually turn into a cancer pre cancerous polyps approximately half of the women with uterine polyps have irregular periods other symptoms include prolonged or excessive menstrual bleeding that is menorrhagia bleeding between periods and bleeding after menopause or sexual intercourse uterine polyps are the cause of abnormal bleeding in about 25% of these cases you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks